Hallelujah. Glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Jesus Christ, Yeshua is coming soon. We are the last generation. All Bible prophecies are being fulfilled extremely rapidly. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God speaks to us in many ways, including the dreams and visions, signs, as we read and the Word of God and the Bible. Our Heavenly Father has been teaching many things from the Word of God, from the Bible, to many of His people throughout the earth. God is revealing His mysteries from the Word of God and about Him, hallelujah, and about these last days to His people. That is why it is very important to not despise prophecies, but seek Him for Him to reveal if a message comes from Him or not. February 3, 2023. Our Heavenly Father gave me a dream. I saw a woman that was about to give birth. Why that is prophetic and biblical? Because we are now in Matthew 24. We are in birth pains. And the man child from Revelation 12 is about to be born. Will soon be born. Who is the man child? My understanding by revelations from the Holy Spirit I believe that the man child are the 144,000 that were chosen before the foundation of the earth for the mission of the end times. They will be raptured to be transformed, sent back to minister on the earth, and many people will be saved. We know that by studying the word of God and also by revelation from the Holy Spirit of God, who reveals to us and guides us and teaches us. And the Holy Spirit has been teaching and revealing many of His mysteries in this last days, how His plan will unfold. Hallelujah. When we study the Bible, we do not study with our own interpretation, our own intellect, but the Holy Spirit of God Almighty is the one who teaches us. The Bible says, do not lean on your own understanding, on your own interpretation of the Word of God. We pray and seek God's face to know what the Word of God, what scriptures mean, and He will reveal. And God Almighty has revealed to me that the 144,000 are descendants of the 12 tribes. And the woman of Revelation 12 is the church. Many times in the Bible, woman is symbolic of church as we read in the book of revelation about the harlot church and the 10 virgins on february 4 2023 early morning the holy spirit of god gave me another prophetic dream and again i saw a woman that was about to give birth i believe that the holy spirit of god is revealing to us that the 144,000, the man child of revelation 12 will soon be born and that as the bible says will be a relief to the woman to the church because god is going to use the 144,000 to minister to encourage to do miracle signs and wonders on the earth god will not leave the church god will stay with the church and provide for the woman provide his faithful until the end and god says to the church endure until the end for i will be with you i am your god i am your father and he will not leave you he will not forsake you in the very last days we're gonna see great signs miracles and wonders god almighty yahweh has a great plan of salvation for the last days amen hallelujah continuing in this dream suddenly the scene changed and i saw a wedding that was about to take place and then i saw myself and many other people seated on a very long table and someone was putting plates on the table in front of each person that was seated and then in the same dream jesus christ yeshua he gave me a message to deliver to a woman in this dream. And the message that Jesus gave me to deliver to the woman was this. Why are you wearing black clothes? Just wait for the interpretation for I prayed about this. And the Holy Spirit gave me a very important message 
to the church. So at that moment, I gave this message to the woman, but she did not respond to Jesus. And then I woke up. As I was praying for understanding of this dream, the Holy Spirit of God showed me that the man-child is soon to be born. The wedding means the wedding of the Lamb that will also soon take place. Jesus gave me a message to deliver to the woman, meaning he gave me a message to deliver to the entire body of Christ as I am doing right now. And the message was, why are you wearing black clothes? He did not mean physically, but spiritually. He says, tell my people that they need to be without blemish. Tell my people that I want them to be spotless. Tell them to repent daily. Pick up their cross and follow me. Tell them to leave their sins behind and to walk with me. Tell them to humble themselves before me. Hallelujah. That says, leave your sins behind for sin does not enter heaven. Does not mean that you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that you accepted Him as your Lord and Savior one day in your life. But if you're walking in sin, if you're living like the world, you know, you go out partying and drinking and doing drugs and smoking marijuana and fighting and living this way as lukewarm Christians, if you do not repent, if you not turn away from these things and follow Him and submit to Him and surrender your life to Him daily, you will not enter heaven. This is the Bible speaking. Bible says this. And I will share scriptures in this video. And this is a message from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. He gave me this message to share with the body of Christ. He says, why are you filthy? Why are you sinful? Why are you not repenting? Why are you not surrendering to me? You will not be saved. You will not enter heaven. You got to repent. You got to turn away. You got to have clean garments. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God Almighty. Take heed to this message. So right after this dream, very early in the morning, I got on my knees and I prayed. And I asked God Almighty also to forgive me for my sins, to wash me clean. And I ask him, I say, I want to hear heaven. I want to hear you. Open my eyes to see, to see what you want me to see. And my ears to hear what you want me to hear. At that moment, I started praying in the spirit and praising him. And then I, I heard angels singing. God is amazing. We must ask him and surrender to him and abide in his presence. Shortly after this, I went for a walk. And at that moment, I was not even thinking of anything. And suddenly, I had an open vision of a golden bright lightning. Right after these dreams and after the prayer. And what came to me was Matthew 24 verse 27 that says, For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Let's be ready. Hallelujah.